Fuck that lifestyle. I'm back, bitches. Short and sweet. Yeah. Welcome back to another episode. If you're new here, this is a show called Short and Sweet. This is where we talk about fucked up shit for a really long time. I'm your host, Ewick. And today I got some things that I want to talk about. We hit 300 subscribers. <laughs> booty clap, booty clap, booty clap. Hit 300 subscribers. I really appreciate that. Appreciate that, guys. Um, yeah, last episode went pretty crazy. A lot of people went for, I think it's the most viewed video of the podcast I had yet. The first part. Second part, people didn't want to finish the podcast. I did it with my, my gym buds. You know, we did a little group one. Um, it was great. It was pretty cool. We out here thought we were going to talk about gym stuff. And we just talked about love and stuff like that, you know. Uh, check that out if you haven't. It was uh, There's two parts. Don't forget to finish it. A lot of people didn't want to finish it. It's all good. Um, but, yeah, we hit 300 subscribers. Appreciate that, you know. Um, hopefully, you know, it blows up some more and I get a proper studio. And then we could do a, a group podcast more professionally. But this is all I got so far. But it's all right. And, um, yeah, I just want to talk about a couple things. I just... I just watched the podcast with Fla- Flagrant with Mr. Beast and, uh, you know, Schultz and how that dude is like, Mr. Beast is like, so he doesn't give a fuck about money. Like he literally just gives it out. Yeah. But like, we know that it's just that with him, like I noticed that like there's risk, you know, like, oh, there's risk. You always got to take it. But there's also risk with confidence. And that's the difference. Like. Like if someone just takes risks stupidly, it's you're gonna get lucky, and then one time you're not, you think it, you're really good at it. It's just that you're lucky that one time, and then like risk with confidence is just like you know, you know that you you would win this risk, you know, and that that's apparently like that you know that's what he said he had, and that's what he got. Of course, you know he is where he's at right now, and I was just like, dang, I was like really thinking about it, you know, and it's just like maybe you think about like, and then like the money and everything, and like. I don't really care. Like, I'm doing all this stuff for free. I don't get, I ain't getting nothing. But, like, I enjoy this. And if I do get money off of it, that's cool. But, like, I don't, I don't care for money where, like, I have to keep making it and it makes me powerful and, and I just, like, you know, don't want to spend to be greedy with it and everything. It's more of, like, I just, just want it so I don't have to worry about eating or moving and all the, like, you know, the fucking essentials and shit. It's just, like, I guess, like, get the more freedom and take care of the people that took care of me and all that. And that that's, like, that's just, like, just, like, made me think about Mr. Beast and how he just, like, took the risk and his mom and his story. Like, check that out. If you haven't already, I think it's three hours long. Gosh, damn. But it's, it's really good. It's, like, very informative on, like, how he thinks about YouTube and everything. And he has, like, a girlfriend. Anyways... Um, so yeah, my phone, my phone was, uh, was out for a minute. Like I, I, went, I was just like listening to music at night I turned it off, woke up, my phone didn't want to turn on and it didn't want to turn on. I was tripping. I was like, ah, oh, fuck. I was like, damn, I had to post a podcast. I had to post the one, the last one and I had that shit and I couldn't even post it. And I was like, oh fuck. You know, I was like stuck and I was like, damn, I was like, this is it, man. So where it stops, I was like, I was getting in the groove, and the whole time I had to like go to work, uh, I had to go to school, I had to go do all these things, but without the phone, and you know, I was just like, it's okay, you know, I wasn't like so scared or anything. The more thing, I was just like scared. I was just more of like worried about the podcast. It's like if I just po- if I like save the podcast somewhere else and post it, then I don't need my phone, and just like ha- not having my phone for a couple hours, not working, it's just like. I felt really good and like but like in my head like I was like gonna <laughs> I was gonna change my whole lifestyle. I was like fuck I was like, you know what my phone don't work? I'm gonna just get a camera, a tripod, fucking just record my podcast, post that, post everything I need to do do on social media through my laptop. I'm gonna get a flip phone and people that just have my number talk to me, you know, and then just stay off my phone and everything. And I just changed my whole fucking lifestyle, dude. I was just like, fuck that, you know. And I was like, it feels real good. Like, you know, I don't have a headache. I'm just, you know, enjoying life and doing all this. And then I was like, damn, how am I going to listen to music in the car? And I was like, oh, I just get like a fucking old ass iPod MP3 or some shit. Get some fucking headphone, slap that bitch and just play some music. You know, 
and like uh what's that fuck it like frost wire lime wire remember that shit where you just put that bitch on your ipod i was like i'm gonna get that shit just go old school straight up old school and then i was gonna go to my brother's and i was like you know what let me go check um apple store real quick you know see see what's wrong with this if you know whatever i went over there and then i told this guy he's like oh just talk to this lady i went over there and she's like hey what's up and i was like telling her what was going on i was like i woke up and didn't want to work and i didn't get to finish my sentence right like right when i was like about to finish my sentence she gave me my phone back turned on and everything i was like what the fuck i was like what the hell did you do and you know it was just a hard reset i didn't even you know i don't work there she works there okay i ain't know i don't know about no hard reset whatever and i was like gosh damn and i was like changing my whole life set and my hot lifestyle i was like changing everything that shit turned back on i said fuck that lifestyle i'm back bitches and fuck that and but you know i was like maybe it was like a sign you know like i get off the fucking phone and you know enjoy whatever you know, and all this. But after that, I was like, man, I got my phone back. And I guess, like, the sign was just like, I took it as, like, get off your phone and, and get some bitches. You know? So with that, it's just, I'm going to end it right there. Y'all have a good one. Don't, for, don't forget to love yourself, love your friends, love your family. And don't text your ex back. Short and sweet. How's the story?